And Gunnar Goodichmar and Jabarong Green Senator Lydia Thorpe will begin a second term in the Parliament soon. She joins us now from NAM, Melbourne. Senator, great to have you with us. How does NAIDOC inspire your work, particularly this year's theme? Oh, well, NAIDOC, it was my life growing up. I couldn't wait for Black Friday to march with my people since I was about four or five. Um, and certainly the theme, I think if every black father in the country actually did what the theme says, uh, we wouldn't be having half the battle that we have today. So I think we need to really look at what this means uh, for each and every one of us and see it as a call to action. Uh, Senator, you've got uh, experience of the last term in Parliament. Now we're, co we're going to be dealing with many different issues. Uh, refresh, closing the gap agenda, the, the voice to Parliament, which is being pushed by the federal government. But what do you think is the most urgent priority for this new Parliament, given your experience now um, as a Senator? Well, it's not only my experience as a senator, it's also my experience as a grassroots black activist, a grandmother, a mother, an auntie, a cousin, a sister, uh, and someone who's fought for country and water all her life. So uh, I think that it's time for treaty. I think we need to stop tinkering around the edges and talking about advisory bodies, which we know we've had over decades, they've all failed. Uh, is just tinkering, the, closing the gap. Like, how many times do we need to be disappointed? Every year we're hearing how bad it is. Treaty is the answer to closing the gap. Treaty is the answer uh, to the issues that our people face in this country because treaty will give us self-determination to decide our own destiny and our own future. What's the best way to begin negotiations at a federal level on treaty? Because at a state level, states are beginning different processes and are in the early stages and they're going to take different paths. But what do you think would be the best way to engage so many different mobs around treaty federally? Well, I think we need to be guided by the, the United Nations of the Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People, which, might I add, the Victorian government, the Labor Victorian government, did not want in the legislation that is currently there for treaty in Victoria. They also did not want an elder's voice in that legislation, which I fought hard for. So unless uh, we're going into negotiations in, in good faith, such as adhering to the rights, our rights, then we can't negotiate. We've got to be on an even playing field. And I can't sit here as a Victorian senator and say what each and every mob wants and needs around this country. The government uh, and whoever wants a treaty with us needs to talk to the mobs themselves because they know the solutions for their own communities and they know what their priorities are and that will be different amongst different mobs. Mm. If we go back to reconciliation 21 years ago, you look at the most comprehensive consultation this country has ever, ever seen with blackfellas, we need to do that again. It can't be up to politicians and so-called leaders who were invited to the Uluru meeting and I hear Arnie Pat Anderson say invited delegates. That's the problem. We need grassroots people at the table. Stop discounting them and seeing them as troublemakers and activists. Bring everyone into the tent because that's what a treaty is and that's the only way we're going to unite this nation as well as unite ourselves at the same time. Mm. Just briefly, Senator, tell us about what you think are some urgent priorities for Aboriginal women because this is an area of great passion for you. Well, already um, my colleague, Senator Cox, Dorinda Cox, uh, and I have introduced a, an inquiry into the federal parliament for missing and murdered black women and children. Now, it's the first of its kind. It took two black senators, green senators, to come in in their first term and put something out there that no one's ever done before including the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People. They're two pieces of very important work that have been supported by both sides that will make 
the lives of Aboriginal women and children and people in this country a little bit better until we get the other things sorted, like deaths in custody, like suicide, like um, the poverty that so many of our people still experience in this country today. Senator Lydia Thorpe, always great to talk to you and a happy NAIDOC and wishing you a lovely NAIDOC weekend to come. Happy NAIDOC. NAIDOC. And we had also hoped to speak with incoming country Liberal Party Senator for the Northern Territory, Jacinta Nabajimba Price, but she's out bush getting across a very big electorate of the Northern Territory right now, so we couldn't uh, have a yarn with her. But don't worry, there'll be plenty of time to talk. We've got lots Absolutely. more conversations down the track. We